All right, so today uh, I'd like to show you if uh, you have one of these joy pads, like this one here, which is a Logitech uh, game pad with all sorts of buttons with analog controls, or I have this, it's also a Logitech, it's a Wingman joystick. These joysticks are really not that expensive. I, I actually picked this one up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. And I have another one very similar to it where I pick it up at a thrift store for a few dollars. And uh, they have your standard USB connector to them. So, and now I've ha I found with uh, playing some emulators and games uh, on my computer, using the key number pad is this really kind of annoying. So, like it's a uh, just harder to play where it's not, you know, giving you the same satisfaction as having a game controller. So I'm going to show you a program called Q Joypad, which uh, is for Linux. I'm not sure if it's for any anything else, but I use it in Linux Mint. And it allows me to play uh, browser games, um, emulator games, and just uh, regular games by configuring. Uh, you can use the Q Joypad program to map either your arrow keys or if you're using your AS. ZX keys for your game, game controller or whatever you're using, you can map it toward this thing so that this will, you, you can actually, instead of using your keyboard, you can actually use your uh, your um, joypad or joystick, whatever, uh, with it. So I'll show you how to set that up right now. So I'm gonna start with my, uh, I'm gonna use this joypad. I actually like the, like the feel of this one a little bit better. So I'm just gonna set up this one. Um, most uh, Logitech ones will, uh, will work. So you just take your USB port, Plug it in what you now. do is you go into your this thing here, which is your software manager. You go into your software manager, you get this program called Q Joypad, and it just allows you to map all of your all of your joystick stuff. So I'm just gonna go to install that. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll just leave that open so I can show you. Under games, here is Q Joypad. So we'll load it up and oh yeah, another thing I want to mention to you is as it loads up, it should be here in this bottom corner. There it goes. You see a little joystick. This is one thing that did get me about this program when I first launched it. I launched it and I thought, oh, it's not doing anything. So I'm just going to go with add the name of the joystick. Um, blue. Because it's blue joystick. Uh, so now one thing I found with my joystick because I just want to use the analog pads is when I go to the access I make this thing bigger. Yeah, I'm seeing the joystick I'm moving the the analog controller so keyboard um, up down left right key no key want to do that key left is that bother setting that up as I said and now ah, there we go it has no up and this is just so I just want this to be up and I want that one down and I just hit down on the keyboard hit OK uh, so and then the only thing there is just to find all your keys after that and just figure out which ones are which. Which I will. Up and down. So I got that. Now I need to get my left and right set up. Oh, that one there. Access 5 and 6 is my left and right. So that's my left key. And this one will be the right key. I just know it without even testing it because it's the right key on the uh, on the joypad. Okay. So uh, for my buttons, I am just gonna test the buttons here. It has no key set up. It's not even really 
give me any setting for that one. I'm not seeing button one on here. I'm thinking it should be spacebar. Okay. So button one was spacebar. I just don't know which one is button one. So what I do in that case is I go into this. There we go. I see it there. I just went into a text editor. So the number one, and it is number one on this joystick, which is the space bar, which is kind of what I want for a very basic game, just to show you. Now you can you can go through all this and map it uh, the way you want uh, for what particular application you want it for. Right now I just want an up, up down, left, right, and a space bar button just to play some basic Atari games. So all that's set up just for with, with a very basic essentially the equivalent of an Atari game joystick uh, for this uh, purpose because I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go and play a little Donkey Kong Jr. on the virtualatari.org so uh, to do that you just go reset the game that's loud And I fell down. <laughs> hmm. I'm not able to hit go. Oh. I have my analog set up properly. Let me go back into it. So I'm using this to test it. <clears throat> so, somewhere in here, I'm just finding this. Somewhere in here, I'm not getting my joystick right. I think it was five and... Yeah, this really sucks. Oh, that's why it's not playing properly. I never entered the left key. So I got left key uh, and the right key, because that's why I kept falling off this, this cliff here. Okay, okay, minimize that. I'll just leave that down there. Now let's play with Donkey Kong. Okay, F12 again. There. So now I have the controls uh, back to the way I need them. I can see the emulation in the browser is kind of a little bit flaky. There, so Donkey Kong Jr. let Donkey Kong out of the jail, and then it goes to the next scene, which is this bird here that tries to bite your rear end. That, uh, the way that Donkey Kong's having this little dance there, I used to call my son Donkey Kong because, uh, he used to have. He used to cry and wave his arms like that, and he, he looked like Donkey Kong in this video game. Ah, it bit me on my foot. That biting sea thing, whatever it is. Now, for whatever reason, I actually like this Donkey Kong um, Jr. better than the original. It still kind of sucks, though, because like, I hit the, the jump button, but I was moving left at the same time. So it didn't uh, move the way I wanted it to. And then I landed on the thing, and it came up and bit me on the bottom of my foot. Yeah, and it's still not working the greatest right now. I might have to configure the joystick a little bit better to make it play a little bit better. Because like, I usually get through this a lot better. But the joystick is definitely not. And I'm not a game good game player to begin with. But anyway, so that's uh, just a 
quick uh, demo of how I got it set up just simply for an Atari setup. Now you can set this up for a multi-button uh, gaming platform that you want to use. It's just uh, this just allows you to use your keyboard. And another thing I like to point out is you can use your up and down like uh, for your scrolling up and down on your browser, which I found was uh, kind of neat to have uh, when I was um, for uh, stuff like that. Just uh, just holding it in my hand and being able to go through, uh, like if you're scrolling on Facebook or whatever, you can go up and down and, uh, and just by hitting the button on your joystick. Uh, which the up button will. So I just want to make a that. point for this particular Logitech uh, joystick. The D-pad is your uh, is the Access um, five and six. So the Access is just usually the left, right, and it, it would be Access five, and the up down would be Access six on uh, on this joystick. I think that's what it was. I believe that's what it was. Uh, yeah, up down is Access six, and the uh, left right is Access five. So you just map up, use this and map all your your buttons on your joystick. Uh, button one, uh, which reads out on this thing, is actually button one. That's what I made the space bar. Now, if you're playing, for example, NES or something like that, you just map it the way you're, uh, the way you want. Uh, if you're going to play some NES games or anything like that, and it allows you to definitely. Uh, I find it's a lot better playing with one of these. Although, as you see in my gameplay. Um, uh, there is a little bit of a, I don't know, you almost, with these uh, emulated games, and uh, you almost have to like lay off your right controller to hit your button at sometimes. I don't know, it just didn't seem like it was going two buttons at once, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a good game player to begin with. So in conclusion, this program here, QJoyPad 4.1, is a great little, uh, great little program for giving you the ability to use these uh, devices and play some games. Um, might be even something that if you have a Raspberry Pi and the right distro of Linux that care, uh, that has that in its repository, it'd be a great uh, little uh, feature to have so that you can be able to uh, play some retro games or play some um, web browser games like as I was doing there with the virtual Atari. Or, um, so basically any games. I, I know I'm, I'm an old man, so I play the old Atari stuff, but um, you for whatever games that you might want to play Nintendo or Sega, you can still use it with one of these. Although, I need to get a USB connector. We need a USB connector for this, the greatest game controller of all time, the Sega Genesis controller. Although, I, it does work in my Atari 8-bit computer. And then there's the Atari Lynx. Yeah, if you're playing the handy emulator games for the Atari Lynx onto a large screen, but some, like a lot of purists would say that playing it on the original hardware is a lot better. But sometimes you're, if your hardware breaks on you, it might be uh, the emulation might be the only way you get, uh, can play old games that you, that you want to relive and re-enjoy. So if this video helped you, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm, I don't, uh, uh, video games is not a big part of my channel. I'm, I know there's a lot of gaming channels on YouTube, but this is just a great uh, application. Even like for for me, for uh, I have all these laptops that have broken keyboards because people throw them out and, uh, because they spill drinks on them or whatever. Um, is this is one uh, thing you can kind of do, USB keyboards, but if you just want something that can scroll, uh, scroll your, uh, your stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of neat. As I can show you here, uh, you can see me scrolling on the screen there by hitting this button here. It makes the screen go up and down like that. That's pretty darn neat. So if you're on Facebook and you want to kind of go through your Facebook, and Facebook's are sort of the sort of thing nowadays, I just scroll, 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 scroll. It's kind of a neat, kind of neat to have this, just sit in your hand, sit back, even if you have this hooked up to your TV or whatever. <laughs> So, uh, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it seems that the uh, joystick was not configured when I restarted it. Let's just take another look here. No key, so I forgot about my right and left. I don't want that left, right. I just know it's right and left. I don't even need to test it anymore.
and up. Oh yeah, I want up and uh, is up a eh? yeah up and down. I'm down on the button there. There, hit OK. All right, now minimize that. Can I save that? Update. Maybe that's what I need to do there. I just didn't do an update to the uh, to the setup. So I'm just gonna hit my button here. Yeah, I know, and, and, and button one is no longer the space bar, so. No, I got bit by the angry egg. I didn't shoot him with the pepper. Anyway, 